So let's say this is our x-ray. This is what you'll be seeing on the x-ray. So you take your transparent sheet. This is the mental foramen. Okay. You want to place your implant in this area. This is a, let's say, a PA. We, we, we're working on a PA. Okay. Okay. You take your transparent sheet. You measure. Here you have 11 millimeters. You're safe. You're above the mental foramen by, let's say, 2 millimeters. The 13, you'll be into the mental foramen. We can't go in for 13 millimeters. So it's either you're going to go for an 11 or a 9. A 9 is safer. This is the mental foramen here. We're going to always try to keep 2 to 3 millimeters between the tip of your implant and the nerve. So here, it's safer to place a 9 millimeter. You can place an 11. Okay. If you're mesial to the mental foramen, sometimes you have a loop. Sometimes the mental foramen and the, the, is here, but the nerve goes all the way like this. So you cannot place your implant here. You have to go five to seven millimeters mesially. Or you can place it here above also the loop. Mm. Try to localize the nerve, the loop on the panoramic x-ray or the scanner. You can see it. Most of the time you can see it. It's inside the bone, but you can see it. As you see the nerve, you will see the loop. Okay? So again, it's easier you place your implant on top of the loop, or you go a little bit measly and you place a longer implant. Okay? So now we plan the case. I'm going to place an 11 millimeter implant. You set your uh, your speed. We're working on the 800 rounds per minute. It depends on the density of the bone. Sometimes you can. And we're gonna start drilling. We're placing our implants above the mantle foramen in this area. In this area. We said you have to keep 1.5 to 2 millimeters on the buccal side, mesodistally and lingually. You take your first drill. Okay? To start localizing your impact point where you're going to start drilling. Can you see? I'm going to start drilling. I localize my implant. When you place this on the bone, it's stable. It goes into the bone a little bit. The tip is very sharp, so it won't move around like round bird. Try to be parallel to the buccal plate, okay? And start drilling a little bit until you feel you're not into the cortical bone anymore. You will feel no more resistance. This is when you pass the cortical. You're into the medullar bone. It's smoother, okay? Don't do this in the patient's mouth. <laughs> so, so this is how you localize. This is the first point of entry of your implant, okay? It's in the middle of the crest. You are safe. Now you have to consider that, that you're placing a bigger implant. It's not that small. It's a 4.25 diameter implant, but it's going to be spread around like this. So once you start drilling, your hole will come, become like this. It's not only to the buccal or to the mesial or to the lingual. It's 360 degrees. You're expanding your hole. That's why you have to, to consider the 4.25 millimeters where you're placing your, your first mm -hmm. implant. We're done with the first drill. The second drill is a 2.3 millimeter. If you can't see, you can use the stopper. 
or if you can see the, the marking on the drill, you have to have them, to know them by heart. It's seven, nine, 11 millimeter. So we're gonna go to the third marking. Or if you find it easier, you take the 11 millimeter stopper, you place it on the drill, and your implant will, and your drill will stop going into the bone at 11 millimeters. Okay? Specification of Oxy. Right, this is special for Oxy. So you start drilling down to 11 millimeters. Okay. 11 millimeter, we're still above the mantle foramen, we're safe. Okay? The mantle foramen, consider it the blue dot I draw. So, you did your first drilling, now you need to check the position of your implant. You take the paralleling pin. Yes. Yes, okay. From above. <laughs> yes, yes, we're gonna. We're gonna. So, I don't know, try Here you go. Okay, it's relatively parallel. It's parallel to the buckle wall. You have a lot of bone on the buckle side, okay? Now you place your paralleling pin. And you check. You check the occlusion. How much bone you should keep? When you finish, when you finish drilling and you place your implant, you need 1.5 to 2 millimeters of buccal bone. 360 degrees is better, definitely. Okay. Now we're talking about an edentalous uh, case, but you have to leave 1.5 to 2 millimeters between the adjacent teeth and the implant, buccally and uh, lingually or palatally. You have to try to keep 2 millimeters or 1.5. So if you have a crest of five millimeters, you're, you're not gonna place a four millimeter implant, okay? We will be leaving 0 0.5 on the buckle or 0 0.5 on the lingual. You're gonna go for a 3.3 millimeter implant to try to keep one millimeter from each side, okay? Yeah. How's your position to hold the over denture? Excuse me? Now at this point, now at this point, you have to see you have to try to be parallel to the buccal plate as much as you can, okay? But you have to consider the lingual concavity. You have to consider the relationship with the upper jaw, okay? So this paralleling pin, the center of your drilling should be a bit palatal or to the center, a bit to the palatal cuspid of the upper tooth, okay? If not, now you can correct your drilling at this point. It's the same socket, yes, you can correct your drilling. Let's correct it and place it a little bit more to the palatal. Okay. You can correct your drilling, let's say you want it a bit more. Okay, you can correct it. Now you have a different angulation. Okay, now you see it's a bit more to the buckle side of the upper teeth. Okay, and you continue your drilling. Now we have to move to the second drill, which is a 2.75 millimeter drill. It's written on the drill, don't worry, you cannot get lost, okay? It's written in this area, it's not clear on the... You'll see it when you're gonna do the hands-on, it's not clear on the camera, okay? But it's written on every drill, the size, you get used to it. So now you're gonna place your drill and go again into 11 millimeters. Either you're gonna count the lines, pumping motion, so one, we're at seven millimeter, nine, second, with cooling, with cooling definitely. Yeah. Always drill with cooling, always. Now we're gonna place a blue implant, it's a 425, it's color coded. The mini implant, the 3.3 millimeter is a yellow color code. It has a yellow color code. So you follow your surgical kit to the yellow drill. The 4.25 is a blue, has a blue color code. You follow your implant to the blue color code. You have the three millimeter diameter drill. Also again, pumping motion. So you don't overheat the bone down to 11 millimeters. 
So this is the position of the drill. Okay, look at the buckle plate. You have a lot of bone, you're safe here. You can continue drilling. The last drill to be able to place the 425 implants. Here it's a very dense bone, so I'm going to go with one more drill, the 3.5 millimeter implant. So it's very important that you feel, you start getting the feel of the bone. If it's a very dense bone or it's a very soft bone. If it's a very soft bone, you can stop with a 3 millimeter drill and place a 4 millimeter implant. Since it's very soft, your implant will compact the bone. If it's a hard bone, type 2, type 1, you cannot. You're going to go for a 3.5 millimeter drill to place a 4.25 millimeter implant. You will have to do maybe a tapping and the counter sinking. The counter sinking, as you can see, it will enlarge your socket on the coronal aspect, on the corticus. So you go into it on a slow speed. Okay, you go as deep as you want, depends on the length. Now you have your socket. Now your socket is prepared, is ready. Okay, look at the buckle bone. You have no problem with the buckle bone. You won't have any bone loss, any dehiscence. It might happen, but you're safe. You're taking all the measurements. On the buckle, from the lingual, mesial, if you had a root here, and this tree also you have at least 1.5 to 2 millimeters. Now we're going to open the implant. As you said, you open this, you tear it. On the left side, you have your implant. Inside the box, it's sterile. Someone has to open it for you. Throw it on the surgical drape. If you open this box, Inside. Blue is a 4.25 diameter implant. Okay. Sorry. Yes, yes, go ahead, please. You can change, you can put the wire cable. Yes. Also, on this page, you can see it on the x-ray. Okay, you place this 